Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, talk to our racket and shoe specialists. Masters courts have resembled animal kingdoms in recent weeks. A pigeon crashed the court in Monte Carlo, disrupting the tension in the final set of Rafa Nadal's win over Kyle Edmund. The bird danced on the net across Rafa's racket bag and in the service box before a ball kid eventually persuaded him to play elsewhere. That came after Miami witnessed a wild card, a large iguana that crawled up onto the top of a scoreboard during Tommy Haas versus Yuri Vesely. So that got us to thinking about other weird and wild match disruptions that we've seen recently, so we thought we'd count them down. Here are our top five. We begin with Novak Djokovic, feeling the scenery and the greenery in Montreal. The sticky scent was in the air at the 2015 Rogers Cup when Novak Djokovic smelled marijuana coming from the crowd, reported it to the chair umpire Carlos Bernardes, prompting this exchange. Interestingly, it was the second time in as many days that Novak reported smelling the marijuana, which was legal in Montreal for medicinal purposes at that time. Afterward, Novak told ESPN's Brad Gilbert that whoever it is is getting high and I hope he won't be visiting us tomorrow because it's a pretty bad smell. Rafa Nadal once got a marriage proposal and with good humor, he responded during the Australian Open. Let's see. <laughs> good serve. <laughs> oh, well done, madam. You got a smile out of Rafa. You know, the best players bring their passion to the court. Well, check out what happened when a couple deep in the throes of passion disrupted a Sarasota challenger match between Francis Tiafo and Mitchell Kruger earlier this week. So, the chair umpire initially thought the sounds of stimulation were from a cell phone ringtone, only to realize that this loud love was real and coming from a house right near the court. Michael Kruger jokingly belted a ball toward the sounds of the preoccupied couple. Gotta say, that's a new one. Credit the players for keeping their concentration amid all the fuss. But finally, Francis TFO brought the event to a climax. What is going on? It can't be that good! <laughs> That's right, kids. Earmuffs. Moving on. Roger Federer was leading the 2009 Roland Garros final when intruder Jimmy Jump leaped onto the court trying to put a cap and a flag on Federer, who did not like it. Him close to me, you know, and, and looking back, it definitely threw me out, you know, out of my rhythm a little bit. I, looking back, I, one game later, I thought I maybe should have sat down and... Um, just taking, taking a minute or two, you know, to kind of uh, reflect on what just happened, you know, was that real or what, you know, but... Uh, um... Roger revealed his thoughts about that incident to NBC after he won the 2009 French Open crown. We saw another wild and scary scene in the 2013 French Open final. A masked demonstrator carrying a lit flare interrupted the Rafa Nadal-David Ferrer match as Rafa was serving for the second set. One protester got close to Rafa before security staff could tackle him and then drag him off the court. Rafa went on to win his eighth Roland Garros title that day and shook hands with the security staff who helped dispatch that guy. At number three, remember when Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones battled space aliens right over the Unisphere in the movie Men in Black? What? Just shoot the damn thing on account of one, two, three. A UFO crashed the US Open in 2015 when a drone, that's right, a drone crash landed in a section of empty seats inside Louis Armstrong Stadium. That happened during Flavia Panetta's victory over Monica Niculescu. As you can imagine, both ladies were pretty unsettled by this flying intruder. Eight days after that drone crash, Flavia Panetta stuck a grand slam landing, beating Buddy Roberta Vinci to win the 2015 US Open Championship. 
At number two, it's fight night at the U.S. Open. F-bombs escalated into fisticuffs in Flushing Meadows as one unruly young fan engaged in a foul-mouthed argument with a woman over a seat. She responded by slapping him in the face. That smackdown was a prelude to this wild melee as the young fan went at it with an older man before other fans eventually jumped in trying to restore order. <laughs> this all went down during a Novak Djokovic night match at the Open. Clearly conflict isn't confined to the court in Flushing Meadows. Topping our list, a clothing optional Wimbledon final. We revisit the 1996 Wimbledon final when a streaker dashed across the lawn in TV screens around the world. The sudden appearance of the woman streaker actually aided one of the players. Richard Krychik said the side of the streaker made him smile and relaxed him, helping him cope with the pressure and win the biggest match of his life. How about that? That's the news for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.